What's up guys? We're back. It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. Let's get them. So this is going to be a fun one because I know when I post this, these guys are going to lose their freaking minds. Well, they, they have to have brains to lose those first, but whatever two brain cells they have to rub together will get really fired up in response to this. So this is a video by Functional Patterns. And these guys have actually used me in some of their marketing stuff. Uh, I don't know, I guess that they, they, they crap on deadlifts and squats and whatnot and, uh, and lifting and they talked about functional movement. Whatever the that is, I don't know. I gotta sit down and stand up. I feel like that's pretty functional. You know, I pick off the ground, I feel like that's pretty functional. But hey, you know, if you wanna feel better about being small and weak, then hey, cool. If you can do the splits, I mean, good for you. Great, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to be strong and jacked. But, you know, if you need a better way to feel better about yourself for being, you know, small and weak, then cool. And they, they like to point out, like, Lane's had all these injuries. Um, yeah, show me any professional athlete who has done their sport for 20 years who has not incurred significant injuries and who doesn't have some pain. Oh, wait. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, that, that's right. It doesn't exist because that's what happens. But despite all that, at age 42, guess what? I still squat well over 600 pounds. I still deadlift over 700 pounds. You couldn't pick up my warm up. That being said, some people sent me this video and this is top three fascia killers. Now, fascia is a membranous tissue that, for lack of a better term, surrounds muscles and other organs and whatnot, okay? So it kind of permeates and surrounds them. And they've actually shown that it does have contractile properties. And so let's just keep that in mind as we watch this video. And I'm probably gonna have to read as well because it's just like a bunch of, I don't know, they've chopped together like bits of movies and other stuff. And then Naudi, who's one of the functional pattern gurus, uh, by the way, Brett Contreras like took this guy down like 10 years ago. He's like demonstrating some of this stuff, some of these wacky movements they like to do, which I'm not saying they have no use whatsoever. Uh, I'm just saying the easiest way to scam people is to pretend you have some sort of secret knowledge or secret movement pattern that's going to unlock your hidden potential. Um, I would say if you can deadlift over 700 pounds, you've unlocked some potential. But, you know, hey. So let's see what they think some fascia killers are. Caffeine. Oh, oh, caffeine's a fascia. Oh, it stimulates cortisol, but making fascia rigid and chronically tight. Interesting, because I looked up studies on caffeine and fascia and found basically nothing. I did find that caffeine is able to actually improve voluntary activation and contraction in muscles. Now, since fascia is... Uh, apparently has contractile properties and is part of muscles, if caffeine could negatively impact that, why, why do we see better performance on people who take caffeine? This is using the typical, oh, watch out for the big boogeyman cortisol. Let's look at the human randomized control trials. If you guys can even form those words. They show that people who take caffeine have better performance in sport and contraction. What else do we need to discuss? Again, mechanism versus outcome. Okay, does cortisol have some negative? Actually, let's see. You really can't find anything about cortisol, fascia. You can find people doing fascial release, which by the way, they've shown the amount of like tension and force you would need to actually affect the fascia is like, magnitudes above what you can get from like a foam roller or any of the stuff that's out there that's purported to do it. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read to you an excerpt from a paper. Acute and chronic effects of cortisol on fascia, muscles, and bones. Under acute stress, cortisol activates type 2 immunity with anti-inflammatory effects. That's right. Cortisol is actually anti-inflammatory. Oh! <gasps> what? But I thought cortisol is bad. If you think one thing is good or bad, blanketly, you're an idiot, which is, explains why these guys are saying what they're saying. There's no research refuting what they're saying, but there's no research to support it either. And if we look at the human randomized control trials, looking at basically muscular performance, when you give caffeine, it's better. Do we dare to see what number two is? Stretching. It makes your fascia flaccid. Wait, but I just, didn't they just say that cortisol made it tight? Oh, isolation training. 
It stiffens the joints and tightens your fascia. It says fascia needs full body movement, and now he's doing some weird thing with a bar. And they're showing a girl running in place and dipping somewhat. Um, so they just made this stuff up um, because they're trying to sell you that their functional patterns are somehow going to turn you into Spider-Man or something. I, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what they're selling. I don't really look at their stuff much other than they sell some weird movements. Can you do these movements and can there be benefits? I'm sure there are. Moving your body is good, okay? So if you like doing this kind of exercise, cool. But dude, stop acting like you got some secret. You don't have a secret. You're lean and small. You can do some movements I can't do, but I also can do a lot of shit you can't do, including having more than two brain cells to rub together. All right, I was kind of mean on this one, but to be honest, they've been kind of like poking at me for a while now. So, you know, go around and find out. And you know what? The next time when you're gonna call somebody out, try choosing not a legitimate research scientist who can actually look up the shit that you're claiming and show that you're actually full of shit.